Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. In this video, we will discuss navigating contract reports in RMS. Now let's get started. Contract reports can be accessed in both government mode and contractor modes accordingly. The main differences are the types of documents that can be viewed. Aside from the different types of documents to choose from, sorting, viewing, generating, and exporting reports are achieved in the same way. For this demonstration, we will display these reports in government mode since the process is the same across the board. To access contract reports, select the Contract Reports module from the Contract menu. This is where users can view reports to get an at-a-glance view of the contract, as well as reports to compare data, review data, and determine the status of a contract without going into each individual module. Unlike the other submenu tabs, Contract Reports opens a selection grid of reports available for the contract. You may remove the grouping by clicking the X next to the grouped column name, or by clicking one of the filter tiles at the top of the selection grid to cause the grid to only display reports from that category. These categories are similar to the submenus, and the reports generally relate to the modules found in each one of these submenus. These categories can be filtered by Administration Reports, Financial Reports, QAQC Reports, Submittal Reports, Schedule Reports, Closeout Reports, and all reports. Since we have selected the all reports filter, there will no longer be a default grouping for these reports. By default, the reports are sorted by report title, both with and without grouping. To add a grouping, click on a column title and drag it to the gray bar that says group by. To view these reports in a particular group, click the down arrow next to the group name and expand the list. Please note that if you're using the search box to find reports, users will need to click on the drop down arrows next to the grouped by field to see the report. To change the sort column, click on the title of the column once to sort ascending or twice for descending. To open a report, select the report from the list and click edit or double click the report name in the list. Most reports present a screen for selecting parameters, and some will have sort options. For those reports that have parameters and sorting options, make the desired selections before opting to preview or print the report. Some report parameters will have multiple inclusive options. Use the check all and uncheck all buttons for ease of use. Those reports that do not have any parameters or sorting options will go directly to a report view, from which the report can be printed or exported. Other reports, such as dredging production, only open in an Excel spreadsheet by double-clicking on one of the items in the data grid. If the Add to Contract File option is available, clicking on it will display the report in a preview window so it can be reviewed before adding it to the contract file. Once the report has been added into the contract file, it can then be signed and sent to PCF. For instructions on using the contract file, please see the link in the description box below. Click on the Add to Contract File button to include the report into the contract file. RMS will display a prompt confirming this choice. Click Yes. If the report has a predefined container in PCF, it will be put in the appropriate folder in the contract file. Otherwise, it will be put in the other contract document subfolder of the contract administration folder. Check the print CUI cover page if your contract requires it. For more information about understanding security classifications, contractors should consult with their government representatives and government users should refer to their district, office, or contract policies. To export a report, you must first preview the report. Since we are happy with our filters and sorting choices, let's click the preview button. In the preview window, select save and the desired export file type. For this demonstration, we will select PDF. Now we will choose a location best to save this file. Let's name this file, then click the Save button. We can now see our report has been exported successfully. In summary, we discussed the overview of contract reports, how to sort and view reports, how to generate reports, as well as how to export reports to a different format. As a reminder, these methods can be performed in both contractor and government modes. If you experience any technical difficulties while attempting any of these steps, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket or by calling the Help Desk phone. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description box of this video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.